Johnson and Scott wanted to investigate how anxiety affects the accuracy of eyewitness testimony. They asked participants to sit in a waiting room and listen to a heated argument from another room. Then a man ran through, carrying either a pen with grease on or a knife covered in blood. The idea was that if the man was carrying a knife covered in blood, participants would feel more anxious and be less likely to recall details about him. If the man came through carrying a pen covered in grease, they would be more likely to remember what he looked like because they weren't particularly anxious. So when participants were asked what they remembered, participants who had seen the man run through carrying a knife covered with blood didn't remember very much at all. When he ran through carrying a pen covered in grease, they were much more likely to remember details about him. The actual mean accuracy was 49% when the man was carrying a pen, compared to only 33% when he was carrying a knife. So they used their study to support the idea that anxiety reduces the accuracy of eyewitness testimony. And it also supports the idea of the weapon focus effect, which is when we focus on a weapon at an incident rather than other details. A problem with Johnson and Scott's study is that it was done in an artificial environment. Participants knew they were part of an experiment and they watched a man run through either carrying a pen or a knife. But they weren't real witnesses to an incident. So the study has low ecological validity. In contrast, Christian and Hubenet found that real witnesses to bank robberies in Sweden could remember things much better. Witnesses had better than 75% accurate recall. The yerkes dodson law can be used to explain these differences. When anxiety is low, for example in an experiment, memory recall may be poor. But when anxiety is moderate, for example in a real life incident, recall can be much better. The graph shows this. When arousal is low, memory recall is low. When arousal is medium, memory recall is at its optimal level. But when arousal is high, memory recall drops again. Johnson and Scott concluded from their study that it was anxiety from seeing a man carrying a knife that led to poor memory recall. However, the weapon focus effect may be related to surprise rather than anxiety. Pickle carried out an experiment to show this. He set up an incident where a thief came into a hairdressing salon carrying a whole raw chicken or scissors or other items. When the thief was carrying scissors, which were more of a threat than the raw chicken, participants had better recall than when the thief was carrying the chicken. And this may be because the scissors were what would be expected in a hairdressing salon, whereas the raw chicken was an unexpected item. And so the surprising item of the chicken actually led to worse recall. And this may be why in the Johnson and Scott study, participants had worse recall when the man ran through carrying a knife with blood rather than due to anxiety.